What childhood role did you have in your family? Family therapists Hawkins and Hawkins laid out four types of childhood roles that children take on, especially in families that are dysfunctional or have a lot of abuse or substance abuse addiction. The first role is the hero who is very driven and successful, self-sufficient, responsible. By being successful, they then offer status to the family. A lot of times they might take care of the family and become a bit of the parent in the family. The second role is the scapegoat. This is a child who acts out and starts to get blamed for all the problems in the family. But in this dysfunctional home, a lot of the reasons why a scapegoat child might act out is because they're frustrated and angry about the volatility in the home. And in being the scapegoat, this child also kind of takes focus off of the family's real issues and becomes the center of the problem, such as the child is the problem versus the abuse or addiction that's going on within the home. The third role is called the lost child. These children follow the rules, fly low under the radar, adjust to everyone else, don't ask for anything, but end up being very isolated and lonely. And the last role is the mascot or the class clown. A lot of times this might be the youngest child who is very well liked and outgoing. This child for a dysfunctional family was a good distraction and a lot of their humor is to actually cover up their pain and low self-esteem, broken sense of self. What role did you have in your family growing up?